good morning so greetings to all from myself first of all we like to tribute to our master samuel anemar who taught us dare to be wise i should take blessing from my guru dr vijaykar sir who taught us empathy is mathematics my biggest inspiration in the field of empathy Mother has breathlessness. 
father has left this and have taxes. Okay, uh, menstrual history. So most commonly in the uh, PCOD and infertility, we need to probe more on menstrual history. So menstrual history. So menstrual history. First menstrual period at the age of 13 years. The last LMP was 25th February 2009. It was patient came to us on 28th of April 2009. So this was the SARS case. Cycle was irregular. It was 45 to 60 days of duration. Flow profuse with the clots, dark in color, non-staining. The PMS symptoms was pain in lower abdomen, USG. So USG done on uh, 28th of April. It was both ovary shows a few small size periphery arranged and we can see suggestive of PCOS. Here, yeah, this was the diagnosis. Sensitivity, she was sensitive to loud noise, sudden loud noise gets scared her, fear of thunderstorm, and she had headache from the strong sense, especially sweet smells. Physical genders, so appetite. The appetite was decreased in the marriage because I am always stressed out. See the word used by the patients, very important. She likes sweets. Now thirstless, I only think about the work. I don't feel anything. She likes fruit juices, lemonades, curd, buttermilk. Perspiration was empty. Sleep six to seven hours. Refreshing. Sleeps on right sides. Dreams not remembered and thermally she is chilly. So up till now we have we have this idea that we have to this with the data. Now the most important aspect of understanding the Kantian way of treatment. So we need to understand the mental general of the patients and the life history of the patient. So we will go into depth of the life history of the patient. So what was the life history? She was three sister and one brother. So she said that certain words that if I haven't done something and if someone puts the blame on me, then I would get angry and start crying. That was her sensitivity. Okay. We go out of the way to do everything for everyone. Get my blessings. No one should get hurt by me. Again, this was another sensitivity of the patients. From childhood, I have suppressed my emotions. I don't go and confront. I will never say that I have felt bad. So imagine what kind of constitution in front of you. So this was a sensitivity of somewhere, this sensitivity, this sensitivity, and she had told that since childhood I have suppressed my emotions and I don't go and confront. Okay? I will never say that I have felt bad. Since I was a second child out of four siblings, I would feel I am not the favorite of my dad. I used to feel very bad and I used to cry and I would be I would share it with my sister and brothers. Okay? My uncle would always criticize me only and I would feel bad. But now it makes no difference. It always felt left out. Okay? I feel always left out. So from this history, we just to understand that what was the need of the constitutions. The need of the constitutions in the childhood is love plus the care. But this was told by the patient. My the need in the childhood was love plus care, but I always felt elder sister got more love. This was a she was very confident while giving the stress components, studied, not so much interested in study, but I would study well. Okay. Interest, now not fond of anything much. I like to sit alone and listen to music. But before that, I used to like to uh, dance. I like dance more. When my husband shouts at me, see after marriage, the husband shouts at me, I start crying, but doesn't like consolation from anyone except husband. Except husband. 
so whenever i go to mother's house i sleep in the mother's lap and mother's rubbing the head that she likes so it was a nice magnetism okay she is very angry and irritations only with the husband again she was being irritated by the husband husband shout she feels bad she don't like consolations only from she like consolation only from husbands and also angry and irritable towards husbands uh, she was fastidious wants everything at the class now the life so we usually ask before marriage what happens and after marriage what happens so before marriage she said that the life was very relaxed but after marriage but now i feel this is my liabilities and hence i have to do it as i am the daughter of law common words of the patients when we neglect certain things out of this common words okay uh, she said she was very positive and strong does not need any support from anyone can take her own decisions very confident everybody used to rely on in the inlaws also she had a lot of work so everybody is asking her to give the decisions so she is not relying on anybody she don't want any support from anybody okay can also stand up for the others this was she said the memory is very good out of this history we was very strong secondary extroverts like to give tuition free of charge as a charity this was her one of the hobbies or interest and like to give tuition and secondary this was the end of the case now how to uh, approach so let's see the first follow up let's see follow up after follow up what happens the patient came to us for what irregular menses and infertility so let's see first follow up then we analyze the case okay so the first follow up after april it was in the may 15 days after so i left you was medicine was given on the age lmp was 6 part previous lmp was in the table so it was after 3 months okay after 2 months the flow lasted for 2 days profuse flow wandering pain face pimples feels much better not getting affected by things in her house okay second follow up in the june the weight is gained appetite decrease frequent heat eruptions all over the back since it is history of similar complaint in the past so this was considered to be a reversal of the symptoms okay so for as prescribed as which medicine is prescribed is the part of our learning medicine is not important actually the approach is very important so on the 16th june no menses Since 6th May, okay. So what was the criteria? The criteria is that we have to find out either this body is cured or something else is happening. So LMP was a tired feeling and she had a leukemia. So sir, I advise that go for the UPT, and it came to be followed. So within one and a half month, so first menses, second menses, she got back. Are you getting the February, May? The first menses came in the May, and in the June she was active. So this was the prescription was Asel. In the July she said morning sickness, night white discharge, appetite increase, but I was relieved. So this was the clear case that the theory has been cured and the patient has a pregnancy. Okay. So Asel was prescribed. Now. we have to use over how to analyze this case see do we go uh, again go to the history find history need it now so how to analyze the case how to approach you have this much data only whenever a certain patient comes to you you have this much data only how to approach the case First, myasm, okay, myasm, psychosis, psychosis, or psychosis, psychosis. 
pure psychosis okay so whenever psychosis what we need to use which approach we have to apply gcs it was our clear cut mindset that we have to prescribe the gcs on the basis of all the phenomena so the the point where we have to discuss is first to find out what is to be cured in the case am i right yes kya theek karna hai we have to treat the pcod okay second what approach we need to apply gcs okay so sir always says i do not see what mind does not know does not know so most of time why i put this slide always because this gives me a clue that i need to look into only and only this history this history guide me that this is the remedy okay if you have a little data then also you prescribe and if you have a Eight pages, ten pages history. Then also you have to prescribe based on your proper understanding. Okay, I had seen Vijaykar sir is practicing in the days where he used to see two hundred patient within three hours in CMP college OPD. So what we see that how sir has managed this very quick. very quick decision sir just look at the patient and sir says that prescribe this we had seen sir in the team where sir used to prescribe give him chloric acid he is absolutely chloric acid within 3 months of follow up the patient was absolutely fine and this is what we need to understand how sir's eyes this is called eagle eye that sir sees everything in the patient so sir always says i do not see what mind Does not know. So we need to fit something. See why I am making this correlations because right now I am giving you an approach that in whenever you have a PCOD cases, you need to look into patient this 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 phenomena. But if you can't find anything out of this, then what? Then you are stuck. So you have to go back to the history again. So. as usual what ras sir says that to prescribe first we need to understand the miasma so on the basis of sura psychosis this will is the miasma psychosis so we need to prescribe gcs okay so to prescribe gcs this was the approach according to miasma so always you remember this that this is very important slide in each and every case whenever this case comes to your clinic so whenever you have a physical functional physiological disorders like inflammation collar order tumor infection irritation spasm sensory neuralgia and biofeedback spin this do not require gcs physiological acute cases do not require gcs this is just a acute remedy from the chart of medical search or some of the secret entry point if needed whenever you have a cortifications like a hyperpsychosis or hypopsychosis or a psychosis where there is accumulation proliferation dispersion and synthesis in that case this is something called as sora has converted into this this is the adaptations so this adaptations require to help the constitution to survive in the situation so whole constitutions take place into the part and that is why we require gcs genetic constitution so this is the constitution is adapting according to the sora has compromised and then and then they go into psychosis otherwise they are just sora okay when and if it is a destructions like apoptosis or apoglesis it is the self destructions and necrosis is the destructions of the others so syphilis is represented to us as exaggeration distortion perversion hysteria destruction of the genetic proteins so in that case required either gcs or either state followed by gcs so for that we need to understand this this five require a gcs but in that gcs what you have to do do not use this criteria use a different criteria to prescribe for gcs and in last two 
first and foremost you need to prescribe a state it is called as PCS pathological constitutional simulimum and followed by when the patient come back to the SORA then you prescribe are you getting me this is the basic approach so the second slide gives you more important aspect that what you should to look into first and foremost the miasm then you have to understand what should you have to look into it so if it is a SORA inflammation so what master Hanneman has told it in FSL number 5 that exciting cause taken into consideration something which in FSL number 82 master, master Hanneman has said is that something which is striking to you and it is a self evident take it into consideration in attitude so find out the cause specifically ailments and prescribe this do not require this ok so cause and reactions thank you in psychosis find out the cause but cause is something different adaptation comes out of some insecurities and fears so that is a chronic process so in that you need to find out the fear or perceptions and then require GCS for prescribing GCS you need to understand the extrovertedness or introvertedness will of the patient, intellect of patients, moral of the patient, sensitivity of the patient, attachment of the patients, emotional reactions, basic innate dispositions, physical generals and physical particulars. These are the criteria to be fulfilling to this disease. Okay? And if it is a destruction, find out the syphilitic cause or the things which have altered in their perceptions which goes out of control that perception has to be taken into consideration and then prescribe add again the disposition up till 5 point last two syphilis just cause and reactions this is not the GCS this is the PCS clear ok so in that case you require a GCS or either a state followed by GCS so for case taking purpose we need to understand this is the constitutions by whole and what was the altered perceptions make her to behave in autoimmune mode or behave in a genetic mutations mode so that has a different aspect so you have to differentiate two things on the basis of this came into SORA again then prescribe GCS which you have to find out from the history clear so sometimes Ignatia can go into aura sometimes Pulsitilla can go into cyclamen sometimes aura can go into cyclamen state this is something which you have to understand this is what I mean ok so to prescribe GCS we need to study these things first need and sensitivity of the patient second point the disposition of the patient third point some security symptoms or altered perceptions we have to find out ok this was the theoretical aspect that we have to find out something from the case which whichever case comes to us according to mine now what was in this case the case of what PCO so what sir used to say or Hanneman uh, has mentioned in aphorism number 3 that knowledge of disease gives you a indication that this is the indication or indications of the remedy. So first and foremost we need to understand the PCOD. So what is PCOD and what is PCOS? Are these terms are same or a different? Different. So tell me the difference. What is PCOD and what is PCOS? What happened actually? How you differentiate from the symptoms that this is just a PCOD and this is just a PCOS only? Is there any criteria? Absolutely the criteria. So in PCOD, there are three criteria that the patient may go into anovulations or not maturations of the follicles. 
menstrual cycle is irregular and in menstrual cycle there may be a duration has been more sometime patient having a uh, menses for uh, 7 days 10 days 15 days and irregular this is pcod clinically when the patient comes to us with pcos so in pcos the androgen is increasing are you getting me? the pcos is a syndrome which is based on the androgen so androgen has been increasing so it suppresses the femininity and when the femininity is suppressed the commonest reason is complete amenorrhea so she might having a four five months no menses for three months no menses or either menses comes but it is very scanty so difference is pcod more menses pcos scanty this is the difference because of androgens okay so now we have this case okay what we have to look into so this is a newer approach what we learn from sirs that PCOS is a multifactorial disorder conditions. The diagnosis is based on the presence of the two following symptoms: either oligo or anovulation, as we have learned. Ovulation has been occur, but it is not in a regular form. Oligo or anovulation, or second point is hyperandrogenism. So clinically, hyperandrogenism comes. A long-standing hyperandrogenism lead to hirsutism. It is not the first diagnosis can give you a hirsutism, but first diagnosis guide you that sentimentsis. It is that the patient might go into PCOS soon. Are you getting me? This is the understanding. And in the USG, you can find out that both ovaries are bulky. Both ovaries increasing size, and there is a multiple small follicles which is there in the ovary, ovary, ovaries. So, and it is immature. So, this is representative of these three phenomena. Okay. Now, how these things happen at the psychological level? That we have to understand the mind of the pathology. Okay. So, two pathology in PCOS. First is US polycystic ovary. So enlarged ovary in presence of the multiple more than 12 immature follicle cells about 2 to 9 mm in diameter in the ovary. So here the pathology is not maturing follicles. Clear? First. And the second uh, pathology is excess production of the androgen from the ovary. The androgen is a precursor of the male hormones, a testosterone and which gives a masculinity and loses the femininity. So we have two points. One is the immaturity and the second one is the masculinity. So according to that we have to find out the approach which see PCOS this one, PCOD this one. Clear difference? Are you getting me? You need to find out this only. Sorry, you have to come and change this Yes. This, but From this to this changes will come. This is good sign. This is pure psychosis. This is psychosophilitic. Difference. So whenever you are treating this, again patient comes with a simple cyst in the ovary. You are in the right track. Wait. Sometimes what happens? We just prescribe on the basis of the same. Simple cyst. Different remedy. And we chaos the case. Clear? So that you have to understand. The cycle should be regular. Cycle should be regular with the durations also. So scanty become normal, it is also important. When the cycle of the clotting comes into the normal flow, then also good sign that it is something wrong. Color of the cycle, when color of the menses, the from dark black is to the reddish color, this is something that the patient might come into the syphilis to psychosis or syphilis to sora. Sometimes patients say, previously I do not have clots, but right now I, I, I do have a clots more. That means previously the menses was very black. Right now I have a menses but dark but clotted. What is this? From syphilis to psychosis. Why? Clotted means excess of fibrinogen. So fibrinogen can lead to the clotting. So clotting for the psychosis. 
and then this psychosis goes into the patient. That patient says, "Sir, I have gone to the clots. 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 I have gone to patient came with the sore disposition so from syphilis to psychosis psychosis to sore so according to a very important history part you need to understand that patient is converted from pcos to pcod so that means the psychosyphilitic to syphilitic your medicine is right wait and watch sometime we used to prescribe on the basis of no changes because we are loosely understanding our ks prof this case is not getting better and you you had done the us and us shows that simple cyst in the ovary so same way you said previously it was like that patient also tell you that it was like that but this is something that myism has been changed okay this is the eye of the physician that we have to look who vigilant to see that myism has been shifted very important Sir, always looking into this. Okay, so this is psychosyphilitic. This is psychosis. Clear? Okay. So this is our newer approach. Now we have to go to. So first, the first mild of pathology is what? First was immature. Okay. So what is the immature? The two factor which can correlate the mental level is mild of pathology. Does not want to release and mature yet. Means does not want to be mature. First, the mind of pathology, and second, low level of estrogen means does not want to be feminine. Estrogen has been reducing. Testosterone has been increasing. Androgen has been increasing. So androgen giving rise to a masculinity more, and estrogen reducing that means do not like to be feminine. Okay, want to be more masculine. Clear? This was our mind of pathology culture. Now we have to look into. Why? First and foremost thing, we have to. This was for PCOS. This was for PCOS. Clear? First, why someone does not want to mature? Ask us. So from the history, you need to understand that why he does not want to mature. Why she don't want to mature? Why she don't want to mature? Why she don't want to mature? So what was the reason behind that? The person don't want to. Bro, don't want to mature themselves. Either he is being suppressed by something. <coughs> either there is some situation which triggered them to don't want to mature. Either she feels that I have to remain in this only. I don't go off. I want some security and protection, so I have to remain smaller. So you need to look into the patient history from that. So. First and fourth, foremost criteria is what could be the reason for the child refused to being mature? Means the puberty has been delayed. Clear? So from the history, you have to ask yourself whenever you put first menarche, the common age from nine to fourteen years. Pubertal common age from nine to fourteen years. And the patient says that I was in the eleven twelve standard when I was sixteen seventeen years. And at that time, I got my first menses. Are you getting something different? It is delayed. Okay. Why you are going delayed? Something is happening. Okay. So first, why the child does not want to mature? So what was the sensitivity? This is the adaptation. Psychosis is always adaptation to the environment. Epigenetic. Some epigenetic factor will lead to the psychosis. Okay. So why? So first and foremost, a child is bullied, abused by other friends and siblings, and prefer to cover. So I need to cover myself. I need to take a secure shell for that, and because of some sensitivity. So sensitivity of being bullied, sensitivity of being criticized, sensitivity of being abused by anything, which is other friends, siblings, everything. So what was the things? We have to understand the element like element from abuse in childhood. 
अभी मैं इतना बच्चा हूँ मेरा इतना लोग एब्यूज कर रहे हैं मैं बड़ा होके क्या करूँगा एब्यूज नहीं हूँ आई नीड टू रिमेन चाइल्ड कार्सिनोसिन स्ट्रेमोनियम थ्रू द एलिमेंट फ्रॉम सेक्सुअल एब्यूज कॉमनली यू फाइंड इन द इनफर्टिल केसेस वेन एवर यू फाइंड अ केस ऑफ द फीमेल वेर यू गो फॉर द ऑल इन्वेस्टिगेशन एंड ऑल इन्वेस्टिगेशन वर नॉर्मल All investigations were normal. No pathological process has been going on, and the patient says that uh, we do not uh, like to have a sexual intercourse because the this is this is very painful for me. And the husband always says that whenever I try to uh, have the intercourse, uh, she has so much so in the spasmodic state that she cannot allow to enter. so that was the case where the patient was in a state that patient was being induced this is called as vaginismus not allowing the penis to enter into vagina that means the sensitivity of the mind of the vagina is telling that i cannot allow anyone to enter because i am being abused in the childhood okay this road is closed so most of time whenever you find certain cases of infertility you can get this element from sexual abuse okay i had a case second delusion abuse be see this was the actual process something which is happening this was the perception okay now how perception is developed once the sensitivity got hurt it goes into insecurities that insecurity create a fear and that fear create a distortion at the level of mind causing altered perceptions so in that case what this is the case where actually the patient was not being abused but she feels that i might get abused so this is the perception in that baretta kaam is one of the remedy. infertility baretta kaam is one of the remedy out of this okay because i had one case the case was it was not baretta kaam was given but the case was like that the mother having a feeling that uh, i don't want to get pregnant because uh, you know right now uh, the girl has been uh, molested frequently because of this reason i don't want that child Okay, so there must be one two things. One is the fear of being raped, and if this fear of being raped actually it is not happened, but she said that it is the fear of being raped. Actually, the case of tubal blockage. In that case, I took that. Okay, but if she feels that it is being abused, actually she is not abused, but this is the perception at the level of mind. Fear created that perception. At that time, you have to go from this angle. I'm getting. Delusion, laughed at, mocked at, sees. So this was the sensitivity of Balid. Delusion, laughed at, mocked at, screams at, and take her, make her so timid, and she has no dare. So out of this all, Baraita Kaab is everywhere. So Baraita Kaab does not want to match us. You all know Baraita Kaab is very dependent remedy, very timid remedy, very bashful remedy, and I do not go out. again bashfulness comes into this what is bashfulness i have to shrink in myself what happened when the ovum is released ovary is trying to comes out ovum is trying to come out from the ovary so that means i am so most of extroverted remedy cannot go into pcos are you getting the bashful timid remedy goes into because they goes into embarrassment remedy goes into pcos okay so that you have to mind uh, connect the mind of pathology second the first point is i do not want to mature because of someone is abuse or criticize me second point i am so much so timid and dependent on others so i what to have any zarurat nahi i don't want to mature okay so rubric was dependent general or cannot be independent The remedy is pulsatilla, silicia, tinctoria, natrum. Okay, very common is remedy. Third, 
third point that i am so much so cling to the my comfort zone like my mother and i cannot come out of that so i am so much so comfortable with the cling of the mother and does not want to come out from mother comfort so this is also a remedy which goes into issue because in maturity so most of the time you have to understand that a uh, young girl came always with the mother it was a 20 years 22 years 25 years 27 years young girl unmarried came with the mother always do not came to play with alone why this is something you have to understand see who accompany who it is also part of case study no very important most of baraita people they always come with the parents most of baraita people. Kelkeria people, they always come with the parents. Okay, so you have to look at this again. Clinging to mothers, Baraita. Okay, fine. So same. Always take the hand of the mother. This more Jason and Galiga, William, Lyco, first Porus, Baraita, Pulsic line, Tirisha. So this was another. So what are the rubric which indicate the lack of maturity? So we have learned something. clinging to mothers clinging to mothers we take always the hand of the mothers dependent independent cannot be delusion criticized abused mock laughed at okay now certain point different point care is desired to be means someone has to be carried always me i cannot go somewhere else alone okay care is desired to be on someone's shoulders दूसरे के गंदे पे ही मैं होता हूं ठीक है हेल्पलेसनेस फीलिंग्स अगेन दिस इज अ साइकोसोफिलिटिक मोड हेल्पलेसनेस फीलिंग हेल्पलेसनेस फीलिंग फील्स लाइक इन्फेंट सो व्हाट इज अ इन्फेंट इन्फेंट कैन नॉट डू एनीथिंग आउट ऑफ देयर ओन टोटली डिपेंडेंट इवन ही कैन नॉट चेंज दैट डायपर आल्सो सो दैट इज व्हाट द adult persons feel like that it is helplessness of feeling child is behavior so i need to become child child and child even though i mature i need to remain child as my defense because child is safe so child is child is behavior body grow but mind does not do for ana responsibility laid into children means what सर पैंतालीस साल का हो गया अभी भी फादर जो बोलते हैं वही डिसीजन लेता है कोई रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी घर का कोई रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी शादी हो गया बच्चे हो गए घर का कोई रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इसके ऊपर नहीं है अभी फादर को टेंशन है कि ये करेगा तो क्या करेगा अब तक कुछ भी नहीं किया इसने काम करता है पैसा कमाता है काम करता है घर चलाता है सब आके पापा को सब दे देता है कोई भी रिश्तेदारी में जाना है पापा को बोल देता पापा आप चले जाओ मैं नहीं जाऊँगा ठीक है दैट मीन ही कैन नॉट टेक एनी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दिस इज लेट कमिंग इन टू यूजफुलनेस ओके रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी लेट इन चिल्ड्रन द रेमेडी इज बराइट अ काम ओके सेकेंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एवर जन टू आई डो नॉट वॉन्ट टू टेक एनी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ओके सो दैट मीन्स आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू मैच योर माई सेल्फ एक्जैक्टली अपोजिट इज प्रिकॉसिटी I am too fast to mature, and I took responsibility. So my precocity goes into another rubric is responsibility too strong in young age. Okay, spoiled children, delusion, body body part, head belongs to other. I do not use my mind. That means again I am immature. So immaturity के लिए ये mind of pathology है. अभी इसमें से एक भी अपने patient में था. नेव कन्फाइंडिंग इंप्रेशनेबल ससेप्टेबल फ्रिवोलस फ्रिवोलस इज साइकोसिक्यूरिटी लाफिंग ओवर सीरियस मैटर दिस इज समथिंग विच इज कॉल्ड एज डिस्टोर्शन समथिंग विच इज कॉल्ड एज 
distortions. Okay, laughing on serious matter. The first point, I don't want to mature. Mm -hmm. Patient ka case kya tha? PCOS. Okay, kuch bhi tha isme se? Abhi kya karo? That is that is what we have. Uh, I am here. Second point. Now, why someone does not want to be feminine? So now the criteria for PCOS. Up till now we have learned the criteria for PCOD. Now PCOS. So in PCOS, androgen has been increasing. So estrogen has been reducing and testosterone has been increasing. So estrogen reduced means why someone don't want to be feminine. Okay. So what was the things that try to probe? Where do you feel weak as a female? Asking the questions like that. Where do you feel weak as a female and why you have to become stronger? Okay? And want to strengthen your weakness. Want to be strong. So this is again an adaptation psychosis. Okay? So what was that? Children who take part of opposite sex due to earlier responsibility. Commonest example we used to describe that, uh, we used to say that the, in early age of the child, the, the female was very elder, uh, two, two, two or three younger siblings were there, father died in a younger age when she was very young. So she takes the responsibility as a father. And she took the responsibility of all the younger children. So this is what out of epigenetic factor, certain situations, she went into this stage. This is androgen. My femininity has to be reduced. Now I have to mature like a male. Mummy itni rotlu hai ki mujhe mummy ki side leni padti hai. Again, she become mother, father of mother. This is the responsibility strong. Now this responsibility strong goes into their own identity has been compromised somewhere else. Are you getting me? Higher version of learning. So too strong responsibility and their own identity has been compromised. That means she cannot understand I am a children's or I am a father. I am a uh, uh, daughter of mother or I am become mother of my mother. This is something that their own identity has been confused. And that is the point where you have to understand confusion of identity. It is not the person is telling you that I am confused about my own identity. It is the interpretations of yourself out of the situation, epigenetic situation, why she developed this behavior. And this behavior is that Identity has been compromised. Very important. So, sexual identity also compromised. So, children who call themselves male when they are female or vice versa. Nowadays, the commonly you can find out. The female want to ride uh, bullets. Female want to be a uh, very libertine. Female want to be a uh, very strong. They go to gym and doing exercise and everything. So this is something that they themselves call it. I to mere papa ki pari nahi hai. Main to mere papa ka banda hai. That is what she goes into sexual identity compromisation. Girl tend to dress up like a boy or vice versa. Commonly, 70 percent of the girl used to wear a uh, jeans and tops and boys clothes, clothes in a metro cities. Apart from we are going into village or urban cities, but in the metro, 70% girls like to, or those who are working. So this is what something that girls tend to dress up like a boy. So their behavior become managed. How their behavior become managed? Already they send impulse to the neuroendocrine system that you need to release the masculine hormone more, and that create a management. Okay. Habits, wearing and sitting like opposite sex most of the time. So this is what the manish, so manish habit of the girls or a woman or effeminate especially in the males. Okay. So this is a compromisation of sexual identity. 
Now you have to understand that confusion about his identity. Two things. One is children who have to be forced to believe that they are opposite sex by parents. One. Or second, children who take up a part of opposite sex due to early responsibility. Okay. Reason behind that. Say for example, the couple having a three female children. The third one, couple wanted that I want a male child. But the third female came and the couple fulfill their wishes that this is my boy child only. So they impart that you are the boy of this family. And same way child does not understand am I female or am I male. So child always take that this is my own identity is a manish boy. So I used to wear a clothes like a boy. I used to cut my hair as a boy. So this is something that they have been forced to believe that this is you are the boy only. Physically she is female. But mentally she feels that I am the boy. And what is that force and confusion. So confusion of own identity she engrafted their own identity as the parents is telling them okay and this lead to a PCOS so what is that the, which are the remedy you can think of two remedy barata cup alumina confusion of identity and it will force okay the third the point second point is the children who take the part of this opposite sex due to the early responsibility, as I earlier said, the same example, the father or elder person in the family died and she had to took the part. So she wanted to support someone in the family and out of that support, she become different. So this is what their own identity has been confused. The point where children who feel restricted by their parents as a girl in their childhood. See, the point where too much responsibility, identity has been compromised. Now, I am so libertine, I want to enjoy my life, but nobody allow me. There is a restriction in my family. There is a restriction in my society, there is a restriction in social norms, so that creates me anger. And that anger is because of these two things. I cannot tolerate injustice happening. This is a That is what her sensitivity is. Injustice cannot. It is not the actual process, it is her sensitivity is injustice. Because she feels this is injustice to me. Actually it is not like that. Okay, so you have to understand injustice in context of the patients. Not at your convenience. Okay, and libertinism, this is what unrestrained matters, unrestrained forms. So I can go. So this is what this can give, give rise to again PCOS. Okay. Most commonly right now you can find out this. There is a restriction in the family. That restriction goes into labor time. She used to enjoy. She go to the pub. She go to the party. She enjoy with the friends. She enjoy with late night shows. She enjoy with the boys. Or sometimes she may end up with the drug habits or some tobacco or smokings and everything. So this is what libertine, unrestrained behavior. Libertinism is not just only a sexual point. But she might go into sexualities or a serious behavior or sometimes she may end up with the adultery or debauchery. But it is something that unrestrained in their behavior. Okay. It should not be like this. But it is. That is libertinism. I have it. Okay. Children who have seen fight between parents and feeling insecure, so they try to protect themselves. Again, something which is happening in the family, 
that create a havoc in the mind of the child okay so as a child she feels so much so weak as a female she feels so much so weak and that is the reason why she wanted that i need to become a male or i need to save myself so i need to save myself i need to make a protection for protection i need to make a cyst okay why i need to make a cyst because i am so sensitive and i am hurt by the environment so the sensitivity is fear injured me yesterday we have took the rubric you know but that lead to psychosis that delusion injury will receive so this is the perception okay third point if the pcod comes later stage of the life means after menarche after menarche means the patient says that i have regular menses till my marriage but after marriage my menses was changed after marriage menses is changed and i diagnose as pcod so for that you need to probe what to probe where to probe see ovary related to most precious or valuable things in the life first because ovary release an ovum which is very precious ovary gives motherhood ovary gives family ovary gives children so you need to probe when cyst develop in the ovary that means he ask about the insecurity about the most precious thing in her present life after marriage okay so up till now we have learned the approach to pcod and pcos now we go back to our case analysis of the case what was our case about can we revise again case we back to the case the case is like we just revise uh, this mental aspect of the case okay three sister one brother four siblings if i haven't haven't done something and if someone put the blame on me then i would get angry and start crying okay we we'll go out of the way to do everything for everyone at my place no one should get hurt by me from childhood i have suppressed my emotions and cannot go to confront will never say that i have felt bad since i was the second child i would feel i am not the favorite of my dad i used to feel very bad and i used to cry and would be share it with my sisters and mother okay my uncle would always criticize me i used to feel bad but now it does not make difference i always felt left out okay need in the childhood is love plus care but i always felt that my elder get more love huh? was very confident while giving stage performance studied not so interested but studied well interest now fond of not now not fond of any things she sits alone listen to music but previously it was she like dancing when my husband shout i start crying but doesn't like consolation from anyone except my husband whenever i go to the mother's house i slept in my mother's lap i feel better there likes magnetism anger irritation only on my husband she wants everything very clean and neat fastidious before marriage life was very relaxed but now i feel that this is my liability and hence i have to do it as i am daughter in law okay very positive and strong does not need support can take decisions very confident everybody used to rely on me memory is good will strong secondary extrovert like to give usen free of charge as a charity and end of the case the physical genders we have irregular menses weak feeling leukoia past history of jaundice breathlessness diabetes menstrual history usg suggestive of pcos 
sensitive to loud noise, get scared, fear of thunderstorm, and smell causes headache. Okay, chilly, hustless, scanty perspirations, like sweets, dream and remembers, like fruit juices, laminates, curds, buttermilk, everything. So, approach to this case. Tell me, in that case, we have learned the approach. Anything you get out of this, in that case, why she do not want to mature? Does anything happen in their family? Does she had some responsibility? Does she had uh, bullied by someone else? Does she feels that my uh, femininity is a problem? Anything in the case? You find nothing in the case. So once you learn this approach and you get this type of case, what you should do? Tell me. This is the learning point of today's session. You know what Chanakya says? Sam Dam Dandavit. Sab niti tumko aani chahiye. Agar ek niti aati hai, to dusri mein kuch na kuch to garbar chalta hai. So something that you didn't find anything out of it, then what? You were stuck. Am I right? Mm. Nowadays it happens. Most of the students get stuck that because they learn a fragment only. They are not learning the whole aspect. So this is what my aim is to share the whole point. Mm -hmm. So, what was the approach? What was our approach? We need to prescribe GCS. Clear? So make a totality out of GCS. What was that totality? Of this case only. Myism? Psychosis. Psychosis. Okay. Uh, Patient was extroverted or introverted? Secondary extroverted. Not primary extroverted. Okay. Will of the patient? Strong. Strong and positive. Intellect? Good. It was a good. She take decisions. Okay. Fine. Moral? Good. She used to give a tuition by charity. She cannot want to hurt others. Okay. She feels. Or she was sensitive. Sensitivity. What was the sensitivity? Criticize. Sensitive to? Criticize. Alkal always you criticize. criticize. Or someone Rudeness. who blame, blame mm -hmm. without her fault, that also means. So, sensitive to reproach or criticism. Mm -hmm. Common? Mm -hmm. Then, uh, say, emotions. What was the emotions? Mm -hmm. Emotion, she, she is very angry mm -hmm. and a crime. Anger on husband, irritability. She had a fear, fear of thunderstorm. Okay. And the emotion that consolation which aggravates. Okay. Then attachment. Mother. 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 What she likes? She likes magnetism. Okay. Then disposition of the patient. This was the disposition up till now. But what was that basic disposition? She is a strong or timid? Timid. 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 timid? Yes. She is a strong. Will strong, positive lady. That is psychosis, right? adaptation. Right? That is what you have to understand. Ah, childhood ma to timid. Yes. Childhood ma timid. Okay. Fine. Again. Does she is diligent or non diligent? No. Diligent. Can we say diligent? Non diligent. Concession or non consensus? Consensus. Does child does patient say I am consensus? No. Or did you find anything out of history that patient was consensus? So what was the things you, which remedy comes into your mind? Stamonium? Carcinogen. Carcinogen. Okay. Calcarea silicata. Calcarea Wow, great. Anything else? So I have put certain things into this. This was the analytical totality. 
what rubric to be taken from this? The first will strong, intellect was good, moral was good, like to give charity tuition, does not like to hurt others, this was the moral good. Sensitive criticism, emotion get been suppressed. Okay. Now no difference like magnetisms, uh, which magnetism which emulates does not like consolations, fear, thunderstorm, angry, irritable, non-consensus, need love plus care, chilly and fussless. Okay. Does calcarea silicata? Calcarea, uh, what is the need of calcarea? Support. Support. Security and support. support. Okay. Does this patient say that I, I want any security? No. I don't want any support from anyone. So straight away our calcarea is ruled out. The whole calcarea group has been ruled out. This is what our learning point. You know? Okay. What carcinosin is? Do you find carcinosin is what remedy? No. Carcinosin is what and chill? Both. Okay. Very conscientious and diligent remedy. Molded according to. Thus she is conscientious and diligent. She does not like study. Carcinosin is. So since in childhood like study and we is very fond of to please the parents. So straight away carcinosin is ruled out. Any, any remedy which comes into your mind? Phosphorus. Phosphorus. Okay. Fine. Good. Let's see. So first and foremost, in childhood there was throughout the feeling of not being loved. The patient would feel her sibling was given more love and importance. Initially she would feel bad, but later become <laughs> no difference. What is this? This is the place. Mm. Initially, uncle used to criticize me. I feel bad. Now it makes no difference to me. What is that? Indifference. 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 Okay? For indifference for what? Pleasure. Indifference general. Indifference to joy. Indifference, indifference to dance. Indifference to anything. Indifferent to do it. She used to sit alone. Mm. Does not like anything to do. Previously she used to dance. Okay. Mm. So what is that? What is the indifference? Indifference. Indifference general. Okay. But what was our need? Love. 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 Now it makes no difference. What is that? This is the things which we have to understand from the eye of eager. Okay, second, study not interested, but would still study. That means what? Non conscientious, not diligent. Okay? Was confidence while performing on the stage? So calcarea is straight away ruled out. Okay? Clear? And no anticipation. Is there any anticipation she said? No, so calcarea silicata was ruled out, all calcarea group was ruled out. What happened after marriage, she says, all my complaint after marriage would work without liking it. What she says is, I have to do, yes, I am the daughter in law, it is my liability. Have to do means what? I don't like. Okay, so metal and conscientious remedy always ruled out. Because conscientious remedy in metals has feels that this is my duty, this is my work, I need to fulfill that. But she said, I have to do. So that means, have to do means I need to be forced <coughs> to do that. Okay? So something is. So here, these are the remedy which is very diligent in metal like arsenic, phosphoric acid, stearate, ignition, adrenaline, carb, all are ruled out. Clear? She is fastidious. Do we take fastidious in psychosis? No. 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 Absolutely not. Right? When angry, would most of this fastidiousness help you in Sora case, Sora case? Yes. Whenever the acute case comes to you and she likes everything neat and clean, very important. Okay. 
When angry, would most of the time patient would suppress it since childhood. So, Akshomika is good. Clear? Mm -hmm. Now tell me, what was the rubric to be taken into case? This was my, this was sir's analysis. Mm -hmm. Sir, always look into this case like this one. So we have to understand case according to this. From this position, we have to rule out one of the remedies. This remedy has to be ruled out, this remedy has to be ruled out, this remedy has to be ruled out. Now what is the ruling point? And what remedy comes into the case? Without repetition. This is what sir used to do in the mind. Are you getting me? Okay. So what rubric to be taken into it? Out of these two slides, which are the rubric to be taken into it? Indifference. Indifference. First, indifference. Clear? Everyone is? Okay? Fine. Now, if we have only dispositions, what is given more important to the case? If we have just dispositional qualities, like this, what we have to give more important to? Criteria for dispositions. If we have just a basic dispositions, out of one is syphilitic symptoms you need to find out. But then we add the disposition which is most important. Which are the things out of this is most important? Sensitivity. Only sensitivity. Need. Only need. So need and sensitivity gives you idea that this remedy is like this. It is not the entry where you have to put into rubric. Clear? So what rubric to be taken out of it? Which are the most important criteria from this question? Always, will has given most important part. Why should we forget the will? See, we have given the proper one that extroverted, introverted genes, then will is the most important part, then intellect, then emotions. So will is most important. What was the will of the patient? Strong. Converting to rubric? Responsibility strong. Do patient says that will responsibility out of this? No. He says that I took my decision my way. So decisive. Does anything, any rubric like decisive is there? We have rubric in decisive. But we have one rubric that is called Positiveness. She said, na? She is very positive and strong. She can do alone. She cannot want any support from the animals. Even she took the decisions. So this is what her will. Okay. So will given more important. What was another rubric? This is important. Intellect ka jo rubric hai. Patient keeps me. नहीं है इमोशंस के कुछ रूबरी है जो इम्पोर्टेंट हो सप्रेस एंगर टू बी टेक डायरेक्टली सप्रेस एंगर इट वॉज एलिमेंट इट इज नॉट जस्ट इमोशंस यस एग्रेशन इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट और एम्यूलेशन इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट so same way the emotions has the criteria that aggravating emotion is more important. So and what? And what? What are the another emotional reactions? Indifference. So what is the rubric totality of this case? So I will disclose it for your purpose. So rubric totality is Indifferent towards loud one. Absolutely right. Second point is this is syphilis. This is syphilis. Then we have added a disposition is positive. So positive is a very good break. Disposition. And the emotion which is aggravating. Which was this? Consolations. Aggravation. 
So now which remedy comes into your mind? Absolutely. So we have arsenic, mercury and sepia. Which remedy to be given? Fastidious, right? Chilly, thirstless, right? Still we have not ruled out. This is what we have just make a criteria. This was three rubrics. Out of three rubrics, which remedy to be prescribed? Do I prescribe mercury? Very positive, strong remedy. Angry remedy. Angry remedy. Mercury is angry. She is also angry. But mercury does not suppress. Their anger. Mercury express their anger and disturb. Okay? So straight away mercury is ruled out. Now we have a left two remedy, arsenic and sepia. Arsenic is fastidious, chilly, thirstless, very strong, positive, very timid. Both have indifference to load on even arsenic has there. So why not arsenic? Or why only sepia? Again, disposition has taken into psychosis, na? Do we add something from history into this rubric? Which one? Pathology. Okay, let's say pathology. But still, sir has not used that pathology into, this is the common symptoms of the disease. That's why sir usually do not prescribe on the Kantian method. If you are using a Bogar Bonimusen method, then pathology has come out first. Okay. But whenever Kantian method is used, mental genders or mental symptoms is most important. Just you have some idea. Okay, one point to be taken into uh, plus point of sepia. Arsenic is a little lesser. Okay. See the last desire arsenic much. Something you need to find in the repertory. Hopefully, I don't see arsenic as liking Lance Desire, but okay, let's see. Lance Desire. There is carcinocin and sepia. I think two or three remedies are there. Parenthila is there. Okay, but arsenic is not there. Mercury? Okay. Do we add something into this from the history? I understand Sepia. But still, do we add something into from history? We have this much of data, not we have learned the approach. You know, are you getting me? This, this is happening in everyone's clinic. हमने जो एप्रोच सीखा है पेशेंट वो हिस्ट्री में देता ही नहीं है फिर हम क्या करें आर्सेनिक इज वो मेटल रेमेडी वेरी वेल स्ट्रॉंग रेमेडी दैट डज नॉट सी पॉजिटिवनेस इज द वेरी स्ट्रॉंग सो बोथ हैव दैट सेंस बोथ हैव वन मार्क ओके विच सेंसिटिविटी Criticism. Arsenic is very critical. Arsenic is also sensitive to criticism. Sensitive to disorders. Sensitive to criticism. Is there any masculinity in the patients or history? See, just, and just you have to understand this much of the case data we have. Out of that data we have to put into repertory. Arsenic is the general remedy. Everything is there in arsenic. That does not rule out arsenic. Sepia is the female remedy. Do we prescribe sepia to men? Yes. Arsenic is the general remedy. Arsenic has the sphere of action in each and every cells. From inflammation to the malignancy. So what was the data left in our totality that we have not used in this? Sir, the basic feeling at the end, they are a younger sister and they are a low care mother to them and not to them. But patient do not say or describe that it is something like 
neglected or it is something like envy or it is something like different. Patient do not express that to us. Let's have some brain treasure. See, we have seen fear of thunderstorm. This is one of the emotions and sensitivity. It is there in the history. In the history. Okay. And what? She said, I want mother's lap. Now you do not think that API is there in magnetism and elevations. Do you believe? Up till now nobody is believing. This is the newer aspect of learning that sepia is similar to phosphorus in the Sora. That is why they want love, that is why they want care, that is why they want magnetism and which emulates. Are you getting me? But when goes into sephiritic state, they goes into indifferent state. Like phosphorus also goes into indifferent state. Arsenic straight away goes that arsenic do not cover these two rubrics. This is what just I have to give a clue to the APR. This is something that you have just data. Your surety of the prescription is based on what was the data available to you as well as the case you have. See, till now we have a dilemma that we need to prescribe arsenic or sepia or mercury. But sir has ruled out that metal is non-conscientious non remedy, so metal is ruled out. But do we do this in our clinical practice? No. It is what we have idea, that's why we have ruled out. Otherwise, we thought just arsenic has fastidious remedy, chili thirstless, no sepia. Because all three remedy comes into this. So, the point the sepia is covering is that fear of thunderstorm. Again, same sensitivity goes to phosphorus also. Mass magnetism amelioration goes to sepia and phosphorus. So, sepia and sora like phosphorus. Are you getting me? So, understanding from this case, the remedy prescribed was sepia. You have seen the follow up. One menses, on 20th April, the medicine was given, 6th May, she got menses. Menses was absolutely fine. In next month, she missed the period. On 16 June, she was advised to do UPT and UPT was followed. That means what? The case is clear. The COD was clear as well as infertility was clear. UPT got positive. Followed after that in the July, she underwent the investigation and she got morning sickness and everything. So this is what confirmed case of practice. Now what was the learning from this case? What is the today's learning? Yes, exactly that if we understood the approach in a proper way. But what was the data available to us that data also guide you to the remedy. It is not that something we could not find from the patients, but we cannot prescribe on that. It is something that we have to find out. We need to probe, 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 probe. probe. But still that, if you don't find, do not stuck yourself. Go to the basics. What was the basics? This is the basics. You have evolved to such an extent, but you forget the basics, then you are stuck in somewhere else. So take home message is, take a case as a base, take a basic dispositions and prescribe on the basis. Because whenever history is going on, nobody have the idea that this is a strip remedy. Without entering into rubric or understanding, nobody have idea that this is a sepia. Anybody have? No. At the end of the slide, we all confirm that it is a sepia. 
but what the fragment of the all history guide us that this is the CPI, CPI, and CPI. Clear? So take home messages, stick to the basics. That basics will help you to approach the each and every cases. This is my uh, way of presentation is that even newer approach you have learned, it is not wrong. That is shortcutting your process. But basic is important. And what sir has evolved from basic to the new approach. Okay. So thank you so much for this sessions. Hope you get this uh, clue and get this idea that basic is the most important. So in each and every case you need to go to the basics. Take home message, basic. Okay. Thank you so much. It was a wonderful learning and wonderful discussion. Thank you all.